Oh, I have a question. Do you know the Lord of empty your boats? Yeah. He knows you, ah. child. Through the flesh Come on, can I capture you? I want to see if the I can take you with me. Come. Oh, can I? All flesh is knowledge. Every savory. He's still talking. Greetings, guys and girls of Villa Gamers. My name is Games of Kicks, and welcome back to Conan Exiles. The last patch ruined everything. It did. It reset all our points. So all our learning recipes, it reset them all. So I just learned the bare minimum of things that I actually used or ended up using, which kind of was good in a way. But the bad thing is the teachings of all the religions we had are gone. Because it reset all the recipes, it also reset the recipes of all the shrines we were able to do. So set all that stuff. Because you also can learn them through the recipes. So the game didn't differentiate between the religion, the shrines you earned from talking to a teacher and the shrine you got from spending points. And because I don't want to spend 50 points, the first one, the one we're going to get today, because I want to focus more on building today, is the Shrine of Yogg, is the Yogg guy, because we want to upgrade that, we want to get a High Priest on it as soon as possible, because we want to see what the story is when we have the High Priest on them, and what we can gain from it. So, the teacher is actually very close by, it shouldn't be a big hoo-ha, and then we're gonna prepare and do some awesome building, hopefully, and we're gonna get rid of this little hovel here as well at some point, because we're going to be living in here! So we're gonna have to close it all off. Anyway, longest intro ever. I hope you're gonna enjoy the episode. If you do, remember to kick that like button in the balls to support the channel in the series. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. So let's get started. It's actually pretty close. The teacher of York is right opposite our house. Look at that. <laughs> so that is actually pretty close. Now, we also have to be careful because we're out of the safe zone and people started actually doing the whole PvP thing. So we're gonna have to be careful that we don't get knickknacked and stolen and our inventory stolen. We're also gonna see if we can knock out the teacher. That would be really good. What level am I? They didn't reset my levels. No, 41. I'm still 41. Good, good, good. They didn't reset my points, which actually would have been much nicer because I don't think I would have put as much points into... Eh, maybe. I don't know. It looks pretty even. I suppose I would have done the same thing. I just like to complain. So let's go up here, and over there should be the teacher of Yogg. Well, he should be... Oh! Oh! Hoo-hoo! We have a cave here. They also removed corruption now from the starter caves. I didn't know there was a cave here. No corruption in this one. Oh, nice. What do we have here? I didn't know about this cave. We're going to have to go in there after to find the teacher. Do, where's the teacher? I thought it was here. Who owns this? Long Johnson. Long Johnson, my eyeball. Oh, yeah, we have to go up here. <laughs> uh, can we go up here? Is that a shortcut? Oh, this looks promising. I hope we can jump a Rooney up there. Come on. Okay. Okay, we have to walk around. I can't believe they make us walk all the way around. What do you want? Genie Mac. Over there he should be. We were just one up. So we went down here, and I thought it was there, but it's actually one up here. So if you're looking for it yourself, there you go. Or you can go back and watch the video where I show how to get it in the first place. So let's see if we can still talk to him. Stay your hands straight. Oh, learn emo Cut. cheer! Yay! The Lord I learned cheer! I don't know why you have to learn emotes. I mean, it's not like I you don't know how to cheer. Conan serious. Conan's no no fun. Conan no fun time. Oh, this is how you cheer, Conan. Yay! Oh, Conan now knows fun time. My heart has a question. Oh, I have a question. Do you know the Lord of empty your boats? Yeah. He knows ah. you, child. Come on, can I capture you? I want to see if I can take you with me. Come. Oh, can I? flesh is knowledge. Every savory. He's still talking. Okay. Um, I want to see if I can take you with me. Thank you very much. Generous. Okay. Five and. You return. Oh, we can still talk to him. Look at this. We. He still rubs his shoulders. Oh, what the hell is he? Freaky. Okay, we gotta leave him there. All right. Bye. <laughs> That is weird. He's just lying down going like, nope, nope, not doing anything. Okay, let's see what we have here. Oh, can we still tame these guys? Have they fixed that or can we still do that? Come on. Oh, yes, they're still licking their own balls. It's still a thing. Love it. Follow me, my, my brave, valiant steed. <laughs> My Valiant Steed. Oh, look at the rendering, actually. They've updated the rendering that your bases render in from a greater distance. That is great. That is amazing. 
So we don't have to anymore run into an area where there's nothing in there. We actually went wrong. Where there's nothing in there, all of a sudden you find yourself like stuck in a wall because you didn't see the house because it didn't spawn in until five minutes later. Uh, we have to go into that cave and have a look around. Let's see what's going on in here. I never seen this cave. And seeing that starter caves have no more corruption in it, I'm feeling confident that we can go in here and collect some crystals. Ooh, yeah, baby. Give me crystals. Okay, goodbye. Crystals. Nice. Okay, we just one hit them. So let's see what. Oh, look, there's more. Yes! Power! I feel so powerful when I can one shot things. It's like soloing the dungeons in World of Warcraft at the lower levels. Whoa, this is an awesome cave. Hi, guys. Do you have a big brother in here or something? That would be pretty awesome. Wow. This cave is amazing. We just one-shot them, which is actually great. So let's pick all that up and let's look. We have a room and two tunnels. Is that actually tunnels we can go into? Or is that pretty much it? So you just get crystals here, basically. That's, that's all... Hello? Sorry, why would you attack me? You see I just slaughtered single-handedly, probably like with my eyes closed, everybody in your family, and you'd still attack me. Okay, I can't pick these up. Why can't I pick these up? Ah. Ah. I was able to pick the other ones up. No fair. Oh, hi! Let's see, can we go in here? No, we can't. So this is a pretend cave! We can't even go in here. That's it. That's the whole cave. Okay. I suppose it's a beginner cave. So if you go in here, you just get a lot of XP from grinding on the mobs. Something like that. I really think every cave should have a purpose. Okay, besides resources. There should be a boss in every cave. Just easier bosses, you know, for the lower level caves. But there should be something that makes it worth it. Like, you go in here and you see one of those naked penis guy bosses, like, you know, just like half the size of the cave in here. And he's like severely pissed off. Of course he is. Like, I mean, look at the people he's living with. And when you beat him, oh, that looks like a face. That looked like a face. That stone looked like a face. There's the two eyes and the lips. And when you beat him, you, look, I can pick up these crystals. That is so weird. And um, you get like a piece of armor or something. Or, I don't know, something that helps you out in the beginning a little bit. That should be a thing. And then they should add an auction house and everything will be farmed and sold on the auction house. Another thing they apparently fixed is that your different type of axes now give you a greater bark, which hopefully is gonna be increased a lot. Let's see. So if we use the stone axe, we go to a tree and we hit the tree. We get three bark, as expected. Sometimes we get seven. That used to be a thing. Okay, I'm not getting attacked. Good. Now, if we go to here, let's see how much we get. 17 bark. I love it. Oh, man, that is amazing. I love it. Absolutely love it. Makes it totally worth it. Oh, whoa, whoa, the easy tiger. Holy balls. Take it easy. We don't need any more height in the moment. We actually have enough height. We need bark to process all the height. So I'm going to go around and get some of that juicy bark. Look at that. A couple of hits. We got 50 bark. That is so good. I mean, I was ready to offer my services to people. Like for bark, it was so rare. I think this is one of the things you even consider doing a mod just so like where there is mods that actually gave you more bark But they're redundant now, but the good thing is like that I think a lot of servers even considered getting these mods on the server no matter if they're stable or not There you go nice because you need a lot of leather like for everything and you still get a decent amount of wood So if you're not out for wood, it's always nice to get still a couple of hundred wood just because you're doing well Okay, let's slaughter these guys. Hey guys Nice knowing you. Bye. You're in my island. I keep telling you to move away. You don't listen. Oh, I take that. Thank you very much. Can I access their fire? No, that would be cool if you could access their fire and just cook your own thing. Cut them up and cook their flesh. That would be pretty awesome. Where's the other body gone? Hello? Where'd the other body go? Huh? Okay. He just got swallowed up by the ground. He just exploded. That is weird. I cannot see the other body. Okay, fair enough. Maybe he's in the, in the rocks or something. I have no idea. Doesn't matter. Let's go back into our house and let's prepare for doing uh, some walls and some upgrade. Is that a, No, that's okay. That's the light from the other house. And we're going to have to upgrade the walls. Not upgrade them. Actually finish the walls so we can have a safer base here. 
Before we start making walls, I actually want to put a couple of, uh, of these guys into the furnace because we need to make 350 bricks. So they seem to have lowered the recipes you need to upgrade your altars because before, remember, we needed like steel reinforcements and a hell of a lot of them. So they seem to have changed that. Let's actually drop these guys here. There we go. Excellent. And now to upgrade the York, well, any of the other shrines, I suppose it's the same. We don't need the steel reinforcements anymore. They were such a pain in the neck to make. I mean, this is the guys I'm talking about. These guys here. And they took like forever. Okay, two iron bars is not the problem. It's that they take three minutes to craft each. I don't know if they changed that or not. But these guys now don't take them anymore. I think before it was um, 60 of them. Or was it 300 of them? Or some ridiculous amount like that. So I'm upgrading this to the next level to the rift and i only need 350 bricks 60 shaped uh, wood which i already have and 90 bones we're just gonna go slaughter a couple of guys so we are going to burn a little bit of copper so let's do uh, let's do 200 here and 200 here and then we're gonna have the bricks together and i'm gonna start making the walls and from the rest while this is burning the guys seem to have changed uh, how iron burns. Before, what happened is 100, uh, 100, 100 iron or 10 iron would uh, only burn, take 11 seconds to burn and give you a brick. Um, or was it five? I think maybe five. I'm not. I think it was five. Five stone gave you one brick over 11 seconds. Now it's 10 stone giving you one brick over 20 seconds. So they definitely changed something here because I've written all this down before. And now I'm actually getting the number of bricks that I need. Now, this is only 30 bricks. So between the two furnaces, we are only getting 60 bricks right now. And before we would have gotten double that. I, I'm pretty sure it was double that. So five uh, stone per brick. So we're actually going to have to work a little to get this. Because I looked at this originally and was like, yeah, well, that's no problem. Like, that's 350 bricks. Like, we do that in no time. But now it actually seems to be taking some time, which is good. Because they didn't make an easy pass, which is great. Now, nah, well, while this is burning, we're going to go out um, forging more and uh, foraging more, gathering more. And we're going to get some walls prepared as well. All right, while well, the bricks are cooking in the furnace and we're waiting for them to complete, we are going to start placing some of the walls to close this up here. Because even though this is in a safe zone, I don't really feel quite comfortable having this all open. So we're going to start closing this off. And there we go. You can see I spent quite some time to make some resources so we can do a nice good bit of an update to everything here we go very nice i like the lights coming in nicely and then what we can do on top what i have in my head is kind of that we go to a certain height these towers will go very very high but that these guys will go to a specific height i would say about three high or something and then they're gonna go all the way across so the next floor will connect all of them all the way across that would look pretty cool Especially from a bird's eye view. I don't know if we're gonna be able to pull it off But we certainly will try our darnest our best to do it because it would look pretty good. I think But we'll see so it's getting a bit dark now So what I probably should be doing is getting my torch out while we are working. There we go. Very nice So you can see what we're doing and for especially you guys because the last thing you need is being in complete darkness So this wall is all closed off. This is closed off Very nice. I like it. So Officially, this is closed in. Nobody can come in and out. Now, of course, people from the clan can just walk in, can take what they want if they choose to do so, even though they shouldn't be doing that either. But we can now start closing this off on the top as well. But we're not there yet, because what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to start our third wing now, which is this guy here. And I'm going to have to make sure I count this right, get the right distance together, and... Okay, this is from this wall. You see, I always get mixed up. I'm always counting this incorrectly, because I'm counting from here... When I, when I do this every time, and I forget this little guy here. So I'm going to do a couple of more uh, foundations. That's the word I'm looking for. And then we're going to start building this out here. So we can do our final um, ring, whatever we're going to call it, wing. And that will be for our final god. Now, remember, I lost all my religions. So I'm going to have to go and I have to learn Seth again and Mitra. And we're going to probably do that all in one episode. Very short cut. So we're going to go up. We hope for the best. Seth is really what I need. Because of the arrows. Mitra, it's okay. Ambrosia, we have meat and we can make uh, ambrosia. So, I'm um, uh, not ambrosia, the elixir. So, I'm not really too worried about not being able to make ambrosia. But set is something that we really, really need for the arrows. So, we're going to have to go and do that sooner rather than later. 
I think we're just about uh, lucky with the way this worked. The third, I didn't want to take my house apart yet because I have a lot of hearts in there still that I need for set, I think. Is it set? Or is it Mitra? Oh no, it's York. Nice. Then I actually can move my hearts out and then I can destroy the shark. So I wasn't sure where the hearts go. I completely forgot. And um, the hearts are going to... No, they're not going for York. York is the human flesh. So I think... It is set that is the heart. Yes. So I'm going to have to leave them in the in the chest there or move them slowly over. Now, I've taken some of the middle walls out here to leave everything visible here. We're going to remove the lights and place them properly again on the sides at some point. And these ones as well. But I wanted to leave it open because I think it looks quite nice having it all open. And you guys were saying that as well, that I should open it up and the light probably will flow better through that as well. Anyway, I made all the foundations now. Damn it. Sticky fingers. Okay. <laughs> there we go. And we're going to finish the foundations, then we're going to finish the walls, and then we're going to start on the circular room. On the round room, I just have to make sure I have enough wedges that I made. Um, 20 is not going to be enough, but we're going to get there. It's going to be okay. So let's see how many of those we can fit into our inventory. 115, that's a bit heavy. Actually, let's take these potatoes out there. They're pretty annoying. I forgot about that uh, gun of food. Now, I think every six we go down, we have a door. So here it was one, two, three, four, five, six. And I think the same was also on the other side. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Excellent. Yeah, so we're going to have to stick to the same pattern so that we can connect it all at some point above. And we'll look all symmetrical or whatever, whatever. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, there we go. Four, five. And here will be the doors. So let me just double double check. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, six, and then seven, eight, nine, and ten. Excellent. We're gonna do the same here. We're gonna do one, two, three, four, five. And the sixth one will leave free because that's where the door will go. Very nice, I like it. We actually made plenty of walls, which is great because we're probably gonna have to make some walls as well going down. Now, I hope this rock is not gonna be a problem. Uh, I'm gonna cry if it is because I really would like this to work out exactly the same way. So here we go. Oh, this wall was one too many, I think. And what did we say we're going to do? We're going to do one on either side, and then we're going to do straight ceilings. That's what it was, yes. So I actually have no straight ceilings on me, so I'm going to have to go and craft some. I'm probably going to also have to take this wall out here. And this one here. Yeah, I don't think that was right. Oh, whoa, whoa. I'm in front of... Oh! Easy there, tiger. Okay, oh, we actually can't get through there. <laughs> we have to walk through the back. There we go. Because I have to check now that this is exactly the same way. Yes, we can actually see it here. So the wall was one too early. Excellent. So one wedge, then three ceilings, one wedge, three ceilings. In the middle, we have all the wedges. Brilliant. Let's do this. Let's finish the circle. Look how close this is. This is... I couldn't have done it on purpose as exact. This was... I mean, all of this is complete fluke. The way it just wraps around my house. The way it just goes past these blocks. Well, let's not celebrate too early. Let's see actually what happens. Okay, we can't get the support on that. One, two, and... No, can't get it on that. So we're gonna need this guy here. And another one below. Very good. And here we only need one. And then we can attach this one. And here we go. Six... Look at that. Very nice. And we can attach this one guy here in the middle as well. Two of them. Nice. Okay, this is actually done. That is sweet. So now what we can do is we can put all these guys on the inside. We can start going around in circles until they no longer fit. And then we're going to be doing support underneath as well. We're going to build it all up on this side though because it's easier to dive out on the other side. 
so the more we can fit on this side the better now i'm gonna have to make a lot more ceiling pieces i put the other ones away we're gonna probably work through the night just to get the resources for this and then this is done this is gonna be amazing we actually already can put the walls around that oh yeah oh yeah that would be nice put the walls around it already and see if we have actually enough Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. this is gonna look good these things we don't need anymore well we might actually need another one and we can put the light down here as well so we can use it there we go nice so we can put a w the walls all the way around here now see if they work very nice and then we're gonna have to get the set religion again so we can put the set shrine in here. So the set religion is the first one we're going to have to get. So the next episode... Now, th these episodes are not going to be back-to-back -back anymore in the moment. Because, again, I'm waiting for content. And uh, most of the episodes you're going to see from now on is probably going to be either building or me trying to get uh, the high priest trials for my shrines and getting the wheel of pain working as well which the ingredients for that have changed dramatically so before remember a couple of episodes ago when i started this series i was able to make like six uh, wheel of pain or something really really fast yeah and um they, you can't do that anymore because you're gonna need a hundred iron now per wheel of pain, per lesser wheel of pain so it's not even the actual wheel of pain look at that that is so beautiful i love this this looks so good anyway I'm gonna have to get another light source actually in here as well. I have one more light in here. No, I don't. It's over there. We can turn this guy on here actually. Oh, he's all freaking out. He's freaking out on me. And let's see if the light is actually... Yeah, it looks brighter. You're right. I removed the walls and it does look brighter. Now, mind you, I have an extra torch here. And I have an extra torch here as well that I'm gonna be putting down there on the other end as well. There we go. We're gonna put it here beside the door. There we go. Nice. And that is definitely giving enough light. Oh yeah. Absolutely beautiful. You guys are right. When we had the barrier here, it actually blocked off a lot of light. So this is much brighter now. It makes sense. Absolutely. And the same here, of course, when we block this off. But we're not gonna do this anymore. We're gonna leave it like that. And oh, look at this. This is gonna be amazingly beautiful. So... I think I'm gonna leave this episode here actually because we are already getting very close on time. We might just get a couple of wedges in. Just let me see how quickly I can gather them and uh, then we see if we can at least finish the circle. Actually, the last thing we're going to do is we're going to check if we can upgrade the York Temple now or whatever it is. So let's see, we have 100, 200, 300 and we need 50 more. I think between all the forges I have 50, 14, 29, and there's more on this side 23 very good i think we got it excellent and then we have more here as well yeah we have more than enough so let's go over here and let's put the 350 in let's upgrade the shrine and let's see what it looks like so <clears throat> one two three and 50 there we go now recipe upgrade rift excellent so let's see this is probably going to take some time Alright, okay, this actually will take a couple of minutes. It looks like it's gonna be very slow, so... Huh, we're not gonna see it now, but um, we'll see. We'll see. Maybe there's an outro with, with its name on it. To see what it looks like. Now, we're gonna continue putting in a couple of uh, ceiling slots. And I'm going to leave this episode here. Now, please let me know in the comments... If you want to see more of this uh, building stuff, I really enjoy that. And I can make more episodes with the building, but... If I continue Conan right now, it will be mainly building. Now, again, as I said, it won't be every day anymore because it's just the content. But it will be, um, when it is on, it will be probably mainly about building. I know I said that. I just want to make very sure that that is uh, not going to be misunderstood. Until we start raiding or something. I don't even know if we have enough people to actually start raiding. But if we do, hopefully we can get, get about five or six people at some point together and do some raid stuff. Um, or at least get the base up and running, open the mountains for raiding. Because I think it's pretty safe. Nobody's going to get close with all the archers. So we probably could be already at a stalemate where nobody wants to attack the other person. But we'll see how it goes. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, remember to kick that like button in the balls. And I hope to see you guys in the next episode. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time. And then, as always, feel spaz and happy gaming. Okay, that should pop now any second.
Let's see. Come on. Something better change. Or is it crafting an item? Or is it... There we go! It's gone! Oh, there it is! It's a tree now! Did something fall out? Is there a bug somewhere? Did I see a bug? No, it is now the Rift of York. That is... Oh, York. <laughs> York. The Rift of York. Did everything stay in it? Yes. And look how... Oh, it's all bigger now. We can put so much more in it. I can actually start putting just bones into this thing and put the meat all over on that side. Oh, that is going to be fantastic. You can put all the bones in here now. Oh, and we get a Watcher Mask. Ooh. I have no idea what that is. Oh, a Bone Spear. Well, do you know what we're going to have to do? We're going to have to craft these things and try out what they're for. I have no idea, but we got to be looking awesome.